What's up? It's Kelsey Rihanna J here, and I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience at the fine, what do they call it? The Fine Vasquez Ultimate Beauty Seminar in Atlanta. Okay, so I was there two weeks ago, and it was just absolutely amazing. It was worth every single penny, and honestly, I will say I don't. I feel like they could charge $300 individually. That's how much the tickets were. It was $100 like when you ordered it online just to reserve your seat. And then when you got there, it's $200 in cash. I honestly think the class, I feel like they could charge anywhere from $5 to $600 and it would be like still worth the value. And honestly, I would have paid more just to see them do two full looks like I would pay that like it was so good so I went down to Atlanta and the class was at the West End um and the West End is like a super nice hotel if you guys have never been to the West End stop in sometime in a city if they have one um I had my book and this is my book I had just solely to take notes in the class it says pour yourself a drink put on some lipstick and pull yourself together and that's a, a quote by Liz Taylor and I was ready I had my pen and everything and I took so many notes like this book is not full like it's a big book it's not full but I definitely took a uh, probably like 20 to 30 pages of notes because like they were just they gave away so much valuable information not only about makeup application but just about like just being in the industry and like their experiences and stuff like that so it was really good so let me break it down like what happened so this is what happened so this is kind of like a it's like a I'm telling you what it is it's like a review but at the same time it's kind of like a story time so um when I first got there it was on a Sunday it, I had to be there at mm, it started at 10 o'clock but I was like I want to be there super early so I can sit in the front I'm not a super a super early person I'm not gonna be a uh, lot to you guys so I got there probably like at nine o'clock and the doors opened at eight so people were already there but it wasn't super crowded I definitely beat out a lot of people getting there so I still was able to choose a good seat and they were able to see me and I could see the stage and stuff like that everybody's seats were good for the most part like nobody had like terrible seats like anywhere you sat in that little ballroom it basically you can see what's going on so um uh so i first went in there i was so hungry so i, I went down to starbucks and i got a uh, bottled water and like um banana nut bread something just to tie me over until lunch so then i went upstairs and i selected my seat i went by myself so i didn't have any friends but i decided to talk to people that were sitting next to me so i would have somebody to eat lunch with and i'm just not like a total loner and i always like to meet new people anyways so i sat down in my seat and i met two ladies um one of them was from New York and the other one was from Jersey so those are the first people I initially talked to I thought they were friends but they weren't they actually had met outside because they waited on a line um after I got in there it actually was a line to get in so I was like oh yes I beat that so um yeah they flew in from it was a lot of people that flew in from somewhere to get to this class I don't live that far from Atlanta so I drove so I always kind of drive back and forth from Atlanta it's like really not a big deal to go to Atlanta for me because it's like right down the street well not right down the street but it's close so um they uh they were cool I ended up going to lunch with them and then it was this other girl next to me who was from DC she was really cool and so I kind of like talked to him the whole time and we were like talking about who was there and what was going on and then we ended up going to lunch together whatever whoop -de -whoop -de -whoop. so then um, we were there we were waiting on Rennie Rennie was on first and so before he came on his friend um his best friend Kenyatta she told us the rules or whatever like of course there was no absolutely no videotaping but we were able to take pictures so I have a ton of pictures they just show like the process so I took a picture like pretty much every time he did something because I so I can remember like my memory is not very good so if I'm trying to like write and then look at the same time it doesn't really go well for me so I wrote down a lot of key points but I couldn't write down every single thing but I did definitely write down key points so where it would trigger in my memory like that's what he was talking about and then um I took pictures to really you know play into having some type of like um what's the word I'm looking for I have more pictures than I have notes because I rather see it than read what I'm talking about because I may have written it down in a way where I get home and then I'm like what, what was I talking about so I took pictures um so I'm glad that they allowed that so of course I had my um camera so I can zoom in and get better details so I will post some pictures but not a whole lot I don't want to give away their class or anything like that came on first and Rennie 
it's so funny like Rennie really felt like one of my friends like my friends are cool like that so it's just like we always are just laughing and tripping when we get together Rennie really was so funny in his storytelling like he was like a really relatable person I kind of wasn't expecting that I didn't really know what to look for I didn't know what to expect with him because I've not watched interviews with him and stuff like that I just know what I see on Instagram so I didn't expect him to be just like this hilarious guy like this so I was kind of I was like kind of shocked that he was that funny like he's like le legit hilarious like he could be a comedian so um he started off he had this gorgeous model um I forgot her name but she was just like absolutely gorgeous like just like a model she was literally a model so she sat down and then he decided which two looks he wanted to do so he showed us how he did his smoky eye and then he showed us how he did a natural look with an emphasis on skin he always emphasized on skin and he showed us like different techniques so one side was natural the other side was, uh, the other side was smoky and so he showed us like what he would do if you were doing a smoky eye what you would do if you were doing a natural eye most of the people in the audience i feel like were um more advanced so nobody was like okay so what 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 you know it wasn't a lot of trivial questions like as far as like what he was doing but um I feel like a lot of people that were there, it definitely is not just a class for makeup artists. Like, I feel like you could learn something from the class if you were, like, a beauty enthusiast. But I feel like most of the people in that particular class, that's just the vibe I was getting, they were artists. So, um, we were in the class, and he showed us half and half, and his technique was just so bomb. It was very effortless, but effortless and it was just, like, gorgeous. Like, the results were gorgeous because... Um, they, they rely a lot on black opal products, which I do have black opal products in my personal kit and in my professional kit. I did use it on my skin today because I'm like, let me revisit that. They are working with like the top of the top industry. So I'm like, let me revisit that. Like I'm not too good to use black opal. So I put it on my skin today. It gives a different kind of look. I love my Armani, but on a day to day, -to -day basis when I'm not like trying to use up my... $65 Armani foundation. I'll use this. This is good. So, um, let me look over my notes. Okay, so, Rennie, I mean, it's just his just total, the way that he does things, I love it. And I like that he placed an emphasis on telling us exactly what he was using. And... I don't know. I just like to know exactly what you're doing. So, like, he's like, okay, so this is a so-and-so brush. I got it from here. It costs this much money. And this is the product. I got it from here. This is the color. Like, he's like a legit product junkie. So, he's like me. Not only is he a makeup artist, but he's a product junkie, beauty lover, makeup enthusiast as well. So, I love that. It's not just like... Some people's, you like, even on some people's YouTube channel, they'll be like, just use whatever brown you have in your collection, and they won't tell you what they're using on their eyes, and it's just like, I know what I have, so tell me what you have. Even if I do decide to use the brown that's in my collection, I still want to know the brown that you use. So I like that he told us exactly everything that he put on her face, and every single name, and that was, like, really important for him, so I really love that um so he started out you know just prepping the skin so the girl came in with no makeup his model came in with absolutely no makeup and mind you her skin is flawless so it's like you don't need any foundation but whatever she can just wear a little powder so um he prepped the face he did the what he would do like if somebody came in so he did a lot of like skincare first and then he did like the foundation so then from there he did go ahead and do the eye looks which i did tell you he did the natural eye and then the smoky eye will insert a picture of that and then um I'm not going to tell you exactly what he uses because I feel like you need to go to the class to see that. Because that's what kind of what I pay for. So you got to go pay for it too. Um, but um, he, like, just like the products that he uses, he breaks it down. And I really, really like that. Uh, also, I was, like, really interested to know how he did his brows. And his brow routine is so simplified. I feel like in my head, when I look at the pictures, I was overcomplicating it a lot. But when he showed me... It was just was like so simplified and I like that you were able to like just really just have it was like basically a conversation that you were having like it's a class but at the same time you're able to talk to him and it's not like it's a intimidation thing like some people's classes you go to and it's like save your questions to the end and we call on you if you have time but like if you're there you can just be like hey Rennie what did you just say hey Rennie like what do you think about this or what do you think about that while he's doing the makeup and it didn't distract him also he told us the 
the like best stories he's such a fantastic storyteller like he told us about his experience with working with j-lo he told about told us about everything like it just seems like he's just like super grateful and appreciative for everything that's happening to him and it's not he doesn't have a big head you know what i mean like he knows that this is like a big deal like working and going with j-lo for her birthday to the hamptons is like a huge deal and i feel like he's relatable to me because i know if i were placed in that position i would probably feel the same way it's just like a surreal type thing and i really i really love rennie his personality is great like i love him I definitely want to go see him in class again. Um, uh, he just gave like a ton of tips, like about skin. Um, I'm just looking through my notes at this point. Uh, let's see. Also, I was like super like, how do you get your concealer to look like that bright? And like you're using cream. So it's like, what do you do with people with super fine lines? And he gave some tips about that. Um, and then he told us like what he sets everything with um this is just going over like the actual products he used on the natural and smoky eye also how he does his lashes and then he went into like getting booked and like how he was kind of torn like should he move back to dc should he stay in new york and basically you sam fine is his mentor so sam fine was like what is that saying to the universe if you leave and you have all these opportunities here and you leave and you go back home i know it's rough right now but stick it out you leave and you go back home what is that saying to the universe and so like after that like he just started getting booked left and right left and right left and right doing different stuff so it's kind of like everything is how it's supposed to be so that's like it was a message to me too because i'm so torn on what i want to do like as far as where do i want to live because that's the question that i asked them power of intention a lot and i really liked that about him um he was just talking about how you have to have faith in god and you know just you know have the power of intention speak things into existence so if you want something go after it and also keep an open mind um but yeah that was Rennie's part so then Sam fine we went to lunch so I went to lunch with probably like five or six ladies we went to a uh, hard rock cafe across the street and we only had an hour so I was like what can we get that's quick so I was like ladies let's like try to get something quick so I got my food and I got nachos the nachos were good, but guess what? I was like in, getting in on those nachos and then it was a big piece of hair. So I was so aggravated about that. So then I sent it back and I was like, you know what? Just forget it. Just, just forget it. So they brought me out some ice cream. It's like kind of, thanks. I'm going to be hungry for the rest of the day, but thanks for the ice cream. But, um, <laughs> they took out the ticket. They handled it. Of course, I wasn't paying for hair nachos. And, um, then I went back across the street and then I went to go see Sam Fine. So I was so excited. I wasn't even going to worry about the fact that I was starving. So <laughs> Sam Fine came out and I have literally watched this man my whole life. So it was kind of like a surreal experience that he was just so close and I was able to just speak to him and ask questions. And he's just like this big wealth of knowledge. He's been in the industry for so long and he sees so many things coming. And go and I'm sure he's seen people come in the industry and come out of the industry and all kind of things like that so it was just like really cool to finally meet him and when I was younger I used to always read his book Fine Beauty and I was just so excited that I finally was around him and able to like just talk to him and see his technique because it's one thing seeing it in a book and it's a whole nother thing to see somebody do something live it's one thing to see Beyonce's concert on YouTube and it's another thing to see it live you feel me like it's just like the energy and like you can just tell that like, everybody is just just excited to be here. I'm talking about Sam Fine now. But everybody was just excited to be there and everybody was like, woo, I'm so excited that you're here. And he was just like really like energetic. And like when he started speaking, this man is so intelligent. He's so wise and just like the way that he articulates his his thoughts is just like you don't get that. Like like that's that type of wisdom comes with age. And you can tell that he is just like really refined and i just love i just love that man but anyways um basically he kind of went in the same order as rennie but he decided to not do his smoky eye which i would have loved to see him do his smoky eye too i don't know if they do it differently but i know rennie is heavily influenced by sam since that is like his biggest mentor and he spoke about that and we all got a little misty and so um what did he say okay so he was like i'm not gonna do smoky since Rennie did the smoky but honestly i would have loved to see both of them do their smokies because sam finds smoky eyes just like the bomb but um he decided to do a cookie cutter technique and so he did that eye look and that was just gorgeous 
he bought he brought this lady that he's been doing like she's been his muse for a long time like like i told you guys i've been following his career for years and i've seen him work with her time and time and time and time again so he brought the her so it was good to finally see her and she's like really beautiful and regal in person as well like she's tall like a swan just like a gorgeous person um but uh he he also did the foundation and he was talking about like how he um spackles before he paints yes i was waiting on him to say that like that's where i got that from spackle before you paint spackle before you paint i got that from sam fine did her skin first and then he did his eye technique which was really cool um he also showed us how he burned down a forehead like that's kind of like that was worth listen that was worth the class alone like the stuff that that man used on that lady's forehead it was like say what now so huh he used some things on her forehead to burn down her forehead and I was I was amazed. I was really, really like, okay, I see how you have been in the industry for so long. He just is like old school with some of his uh, products, but his techniques are like tried and true, like just like timeless classic techniques because i was looking at his model and one of the looks that he did on her i think i remember seeing him do that on mine when i was little so he spoke about that and spoke about like working with people in the industry and so did Rennie, but he spoke about like working with like queen latifah and cover girl and working with black opal and revlon and being creative director for this and like a beauty ambassador for that so that was really cool and really inspiring um he also is a big fan of just like you know doing your own thing using products being versatile with them so i really like that about him also uh let's see he he used a lot of like mixture of products so it was like to me he didn't use any middle it was either he's using black opal cover girl and revlon or either he's using tom ford or whatever so it's just like he was it was like no in between it wasn't he didn't use really any like any like brands that you can just go to um your your local macy's to get he didn't really use that he also did not put a heavy emphasis on the beauty blender rennie did rennie likes the beauty blender sam fine said he's used it but it's not like he just uses it like that so um also he told he told us like how he tints eyebrows so i thought that was really cool let's see he also loves Amon products and Amon products are sold in, in a lot of like ethnic Walgreens or I believe they sell it at Ulta but I'm not sure about Ulta. I know they used to. And then when he finished off that eye look though, oh, he sprayed some, some magic on her face and it was just like, oh my word, that was beautiful. So, um, and at the end of their makeup, Sam only did one eye look and Rennie did two. So I kind of wanted Sam to do two as well, but he did, just didn't have time. At the end of their eye look, they went in and then they, um, I mean, uh, oh, oh. At the end of their makeover, they went in and they did a question and answer. And Sam is very, like I said, he's refined and Rennie is like, Rennie's funny, so he's he's like more so uh, outspoken, I, I should say. He's like just like Sam wants to come to the top of his head, and Sam is like, um, Rennie. It's it's like a hilarious like duo. They're really hilarious together. Um, but they gave us some tips for how to expand yourself for being a successful makeup artist in the industry, and like just little stuff that you should do in order to get people to like really take you seriously, to get more clients, to like be able to charge more, like to how to negotiate your rates and like really like stick firm on your rates and just know that everybody's not gonna want you to be their makeup artist and you are not for everybody like that's something that they really really drove home and like at one point we were in there going hey man like like he got real in there <laughs> but um it was it was just like a really inspirational class and i definitely wish i could make it out to the one in washington because i would definitely go again but i'm gonna chill and like if they have one in 2016 i definitely 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 want to go again uh sam fine said you know just do your personal best your personal best is going to change as you grow and evolve as an artist your personal best is gonna get better you're only going to get better the more and more that you practice the better and better you're going to get so that's something that you keep in mind and i just got like super 
super inspired while I was there. And at the end, I met Sam Fine. And I said I was not going to tear up, but I'm not even a crier. The crazy thing is, is that I'm not a crying person. I, like, I'm really not. I'm really, really, really not. And I've met plenty of celebrities, famous people, and I'm just not going to cry when I meet you. But, like, it was just something about just their genuineness like I, when I was up there with Rennie I was like hey and just talking and like like I felt like we were just like real deal friends and then when I met Sam it was kind of like a, oh, I've been looking at you my whole life like it was just like a oh, type thing and so I was just like a little a little tear fell you know I'm a thug so I don't cry that much but I'm just kidding but it was a little teary it was, I was like oh and then he gave me a hug and it was just like it was just like such a good authentic hug and they were just so personable and not brats at all and you I mean it just wasn't even a rush thing they weren't like okay one two three take a picture get off the say it was not like that they were very open and warm and welcoming and I just really enjoyed the experience and then afterwards I wrote about it on my Instagram um I wrote about it on my Instagram and this is like what really is like okay Sam Fine is a class act like period this man is just classy Rennie is too but Rennie is hilarious like Rennie is like the homeboy um Sam wrote all thanks for your kind words at Kelsey Brianna J I look forward to seeing you behind the scenes I mean it's just like he took the time out of his day and I'm sure he got thousands and thousands of people just writing him and inboxing him and saying this. And he took the time out of his day to respond back to my, to me. It was just kind of like, you are a really amazing, blessed and highly favored person. So I just respect them and I definitely look forward to, to growing my artistry because I get stronger and stronger every day. I look back on some stuff that I did like years ago and I'm like, okay, I'm glad to see, I'm, I, I'm proud to see the growth that I've experienced as an artist in every obstacle I've gone through thus far in my career, makeup artistry career. It has put me exactly where I need to be. And when you are growing and you're trying to reach a certain level sometimes you have to go through bad or not necessarily bad but rough times in order to fully appreciate the good times so i have not by any means even reached 50 percent of where i'm striving to be but i am taking baby steps and I am hoping to grow and actually achieve some of my goals. I actually, I have to make a different video about this, but I actually have written down 25 things I want to do while I'm 25. So I'm not 25 yet, but I am going to turn 25 next year. I know I'm getting old, but I am going to turn 25 next year. Oh my God. And I wrote down 25 things I want to do while I'm 25. And I hope to do every single last one, but if I don't, that's okay. But going back to this, I just was very inspired and I, I mean you just can't meet any better people than that that are in the industry that have been successful that are currently working still doing things you know that that you know you can only wish to do two of the things like they like if i can do a fraction of the things they have done in the industry i still would feel good about myself but just they are just not just amazing just it's just amazing that's all i have to say so definitely definitely go to the class if you can um if you're not able to i mean do what you gotta do y'all like sell stuff on ebay like cut back like don't eat out that, that month you ha if you're an aspire aspiring makeup artist or if you're a makeup artist in the industry or if you're just a makeup enthusiast like seriously this class is just it it's it and i've been to other i haven't been to like a whole lot of makeup seminars but i've been to some in the past where it's just like you can tell people are holding back information then they did not hold back definitely go and i send my well wishes to you if you've been in the past let me know what you think down in the bottom bar and let me know if you plan on going to one of their classes in the future and i'll talk to you guys later bye also guys i wanted to add that they did give an incredible swag bag like the swag bag was the bomb so i'm gonna show this like a little um 
what's it called cutaway i'm gonna show this cutaway and show you guys what was in my swag bag because my cousins were here the the weekend when i got back and then my mom like they all wanted to see what was in my swag bag and so i ended up sharing like most of my stuff that was in my swag bag with them so before they can ransack my swag bag i was like Y'all are going to let me do a video and show us in my swag bag because even if I don't want to keep it out, I need to show you guys what was in it because it was the bomb swag bag. So enjoy this cutaway and then I'll talk to you later. Swag bag. They gave two contour kits by Anastasia. They gave the tan to deep one and then the medium to tan one. And then... I got a bunch of these. I've already given some of these away. These are Black Opal True Color Liquid Foundation, like little sample. This one is a Black Opal Moisturizer sample. I got a full Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. I got an Anastasia Liquid Lipstick. This one is Seraphine. And then an Amon Lipstick. This one is in the color Paprika. Some CoverGirl ones. I think they might have given like two more of these and I already gave two away. Um, they gave... This one is 945, 905, and 910. And then Motos Black Gel Eyeliner. Beauty Blender. I always need that the kind and it has like a little cleaner at the bottom so I love that here's my band that I had this is Moto's 10 years younger setting spray I'm kind of excited to use this they gave a few of these powders like maybe like two more um, my mama jacks me for one of them but these are from the Queen collection cover girl because you know Sam fine is affiliated with that this one is Q425 and then Q400 and then a Maybelline, I mean CoverGirl Mascara, the Super Sizer. A Modus Lipstick. This one is in the color Please Me. And I am excited to use this. I have not used anything from the brand before. And then a Modus Eyeshadow. So, here's what was in my swag bag. Um, a few people had other things in their swag bag. Like, a few people had, like, some, um, I'm on Cosmetics bronzers and stuff like that, but... Overall, I think it's a pretty good swag bag. Like, I mean, I got a lot of stuff. So, I'm excited to use it. And, yeah.